The job of a correctional officer can be physically demanding and requires a person to be agile and fit. By watching this video, applicants will gain some insight into the physical tasks required for employment in adult corrections. The COPAD is a pre-employment physical fitness test stimulating direct requirements of the job. This test includes activities in a circuit on a pass-fail basis within a set time period. The layout of the COPAC course is always identical to ensure testing is consistent and fair. This video provides detailed information about the COPAT. It enables applicants to train for the test with similar exercises, come well prepared, and pass. You have to see your doctor to ensure your health allows you to take this test. Correctional officers are required to move quickly from one location to another, for example during calls for assistance. On the command go, the applicant begins the test. Run the course outside the markers as quickly as possible to the stairs. To replace the bumped or dislodged cone to its original position or go back around the corner that was cut. Correctional officers are required to run up and or down flights of stairs during the routine performance of their duties. Enter the stair run from the front, run up and down the stairs, stepping on each stair. Repeat it six times. When completing each stair run, follow the verbal direction. Faults are knocking cones, skipping steps or tripping and grounding out of the stairs. Penalties are one extra set of stairs for each violation that is uncorrected. Correctional officers are routinely required to negotiate obstacles and on occasion very quickly. Run quickly around each marker and jump over the hurdles as quickly as possible. When reaching the last marker, run completely around it and then proceed to the next station. Faults are knocking cones or knocking over hurdles. When doing that, replace them to their original position and return to the previous cone. Correctional officers are required to push open doors or push on a person to gain control over them. Push the handle away until the weight has reached its maximum height. Move from side to side as quickly as possible, keeping the weight up and ensuring that the line on each side is crossed before moving back to the other side. Faults are using the chest to push the bar, leaning completely into the bar, letting the weight drop slightly and not getting the weight back up before moving to the next repetition, and not stepping over the line before moving to the next repetition. Correctional officers are required to pull open doors or pull on a person to gain control over them. The activity is similar to the last one. Pick up the rope and grip it with both hands. Pull the weight off the floor and move from side to side as quickly as possible. Cross each line successively three times.
Faults are grabbing anything other than the rope, leaning completely backward to attain weight pull, letting the weight drop and not getting it up before the next repetition, and not stepping over the line. Correctional officers occasionally are required to perform strenuous work at a high intensity of short periods of time. This strenuous work places a high anaerobic demand on the body as well as requiring to think and control the body in recovering from pushes, trips, etc. Start from an erect standing position and then lie on the mat face down with the chest in contact with the mat. Get up and vault over the high rail without touching the rail with any other part of the body but the hands. Complete a backward squat and ensure that the shoulder blades touch the mat before regaining the seated position. Faults are not having the chest or shoulder blades touch the ground, grabbing the bar to aid in getting up or touch down from the floor. Clipping the bar with any other part of the body than the hand and not landing on both feet before going to the ground. For each fault, you have to do one extra repetition. Correctional officers are required to lift and carry heavy objects and or persons under controlled conditions. By bending your knees and using both hands, pick up the 70 pound bag and lift it to waist height. Carry the weight to and around the marker and then back to the start. Place the bag onto the floor by bending your knees.